Hi, this is Rafiq Suleiman, and you are watching Cloud Simplified. Hi everyone, and welcome to another video from the Cloud Practitioner Express. In the previous video, this is where we started the interesting topic of uh, AWS databases. And we started with the first type, and this is what we call relational databases. So in this video, we're going to complete what we started, and this is the non-relational databases. So if you remember, we have seen the same slide in the previous video, and I can simply divide my database types into two families. The first family is what we called the relational database. And if you remember, from the name we can understand relational because it means I have a certain relation between the multiple tables I have inside my database. And also we mentioned that in the relational database, the schema we have is strict and a fixed schema for my database tables. But the second type, and this is what we call non-relational databases, in this second type of databases, this is where we have a more flexible and this is very suitable for the applications that they need a dynamic schema of my databases. So let's see the characteristics of the non-relational databases in general. First of all, non-relational, when we talk about non-relational, or if you saw something like no SQL or something like key value pair, this is exactly the same expression that represents non-relational databases. So non-relational or no SQL because I cannot use the same SQL language to query my database like what I used to do with my relational. Here we cannot do the SQL language. That's why we call it no SQL or a key value pair. And then for the non-relational databases, as we explained, it uses a different structure than just rows and columns in the relational databases. And this is what we call key value pairs. And also, this is very suitable for data and applications with dynamic scheme. Now, let's see what's the offering of AWS for the non-relational databases. And this is what we call Amazon DynamoDB. And DynamoDB is a very interesting offering from AWS because of the following. First of all, DynamoDB is a serverless, NoSQL database or serverless non-relational database or serverless key value pair database. And when we talk about serverless means I don't need to provision anything up front, right? So it scales according to my usage. And then number two, DynamoDB is designed to run a very high performing internet scale applications that in some times can even overburden the normal and traditional relational databases. So in some cases, I might think of, you know what, I need to change from a relational database to a non-relational database in order for me to scale to that much of high performance. And then number three, DynamoDB is seamlessly growing to support multiple and millions of users. Can you see the next number? To make thousands of requests to the database every second. So can you imagine the kind of performance that you can have on DynamoDB? And not only this. For DynamoDB, the next one is very interesting. For DynamoDB, DynamoDB can consistently handle more than 10 trillion requests a day. Wow, 10 trillion requests a day. So. When you hear about this number, you might even ask yourself the question, how can we even test a number like this 10 trillion requests a day? And let me tell you the background of this number. This number has even, or Amazon has reached a number very close to this number, maybe three years back in one of the Black Fridays that happened on uh, one day in the US. And Amazon DynamoDB at that day reached a number very, very close to this number. And this is how we can say, 10 trillion requests a day, this is not just a marketing number. This is a real number that Amazon has reached something very close to it practically. And then the last one, DynamoDB 
can limit scalability or is offering limitless scalability with consistent single digit millisecond performance. Can you imagine the performance of DynamoDB here and up to 99.999% of, uh, of availability. So with this, we come to the end of this very interesting second type of databases, which is what we call the non-relational database. We explained uh, the option that AWS is offering, which is DynamoDB. I hope this is clear. Please, if you have any questions, put it for us uh, in the comments. And thank you so much for watching.